Well, uh, good morning, everyone. This is uh, Dr. Pan with uh, one of my latest talks, which I have entitled In the Company of the Dead. In the Company of the Dead. Overlooking a beautiful bay in Auckland, New Zealand, is a quaint old cemetery. This comes from a Hellene or Greek word merely meaning a place of sleep. Kimiterio in Helene. I spent six weeks regenerating there a few years ago. I was burnt out, my batteries were on very low, and I needed some otherworldly energy to recharge, if you please. <laughs> and what better way to accomplish that than in the stolid company of the local sleepers in the cemetery. <laughs> yeah, this is not a morbid talk, it's encouraging. I encountered some fascinating denizens there. Kindred spirits they were, frequenting the same oasis I was. Uh, one afternoon, for instance, I was awakened from my reverie by the sweet, uh, sweet smell of Mary Jane. <laughs> Oh dear, the soul, very much still with us, okay, not departed, that is, <laughs> uh, was uh, she, on the bench a few feet away from me, she was puffing up a storm, <laughs> seeking a different kind of high. <laughs> Another blonde uh, band, she, enjoyed bringing a different paramour to the venue every so often. If you gotta do it with someone new every now and then, what better cover than a grave or two, eh? <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. Sweet life, sweet life. Then there was uh, the old dear who, by the pallid color of her skin, was not too far from being a specter herself, who brought her faithful companion every afternoon, a fluffy little uh, Pekingese, with whom she chatted endlessly. Then there was the teary Asian lady, visiting a little child I discovered from the inscription, unkindly and untimely snatched from life, with many more years to go, before the final clarion call, always bringing flowers, a little toy, incense, an offering, and a console to the young departing angel. Years later, I was to experience the loss of my granddaughter. But that's another story. It made me think of this Asian lady, grandmother, and now I had gone through the same experience that she had. Amongst these absorbing essences, therefore, was I as well, an anachronism of sorts, a bird with broken wings right then, far from his native Africa, quiet, silent, observing the observer, mending, repairing my psyche. Yeah. That was New Zealand for me. I immensely enjoyed the company of the local sleepers in the cemetery. It was very therapeutic and recuperative. I recharged my batteries as I sat there enjoying my fellow humans, the living, <laughs> the beautiful harbor down below. It was a magnificent, enjoyable, recuperative experience. Well, that's it for today, my friends. I love you all. Till next time, this is Dr. Pan.